and welcome to the Gamer's Table Independent Edition. It is Friday, and we're reviewing... Clovis. Now I've tried to find a place that's not green. Clovis. There's no rulebook included in the game. You have to download them or look them up online. Marks off. Major marks off. The rules don't come with the game. You have to go to the Game Crafter and download them. Why? Considering how little it costs to put a sheet of rules into this box. Or even two sheets. Well, that doubles, could have been one double yeah, sided. Double sided. One piece yeah. of paper, like 30 cents. Yeah. Bad, bad, put bad. Put the rule in there. Jeez. Second bad. Bad rules. Not explained very well. No. At all. We had, yeah, we're, there was one major question that we had. Uh, when you play the game. At the start of every round, you're dealt a roll card. And then you get four of the different combat cards, values of zero to three, to which you randomly... Well, at the start of the game, but at the... You know, randomly, 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 random, the random of randomness. It's very random, and at the heart of this game, I think it's just a, it's a social game, because, all right, he's got a tribe card... We can't let him win again. Let's both attack him. The odds of him being able to beat, to survive when two people attacking him are very slim to none. It'd be very easy to team up on somebody in this game. Right Not now. a lot of strategy or anything is what I'm trying to say to you here, but the way it goes at the next round, you get dealt a, round, uh, a roll card. doesn't say anywhere that you get rid of your old roll card or can't have more than one roll card. So do you just keep stacking them up until you've got a fistful of roll cards and no one can draw anymore? Or Maybe. It, it's never explained. But, you know, there's some interesting stuff on the actual army cards here. Some little facts and jokes and whatever. It, is. it makes the game hum- a little bit humorous. And that's probably one of the bigger, point, better points about the game. But, you know, there's enough spelling and grammatical mistakes in this on the cards too and in the rules that, yeah kind of negate that too it's uh based on this little tiny bit here clovis united the frankish tribes and became the first king of the franks um a neat little bit of history and we have some yeah. artwork that is uh very uh reminiscent of the old wooden etchings but then we also have stuff that's super cartoony fun time yes yeah, cartoony fun time wooden etchings you got four combat cards, army cards. You play two of them one round, and look, I got two of them to play the next round. So I can either defend myself really well or attack very well. Um, there's really not much to this game. And the rules are really not very clear. Yeah, well, there's nothing talking about the history on here. At least the... Uh the army cards have some bit of history on some of these, and a lot of them are pretty different. Like one out of three children uh, never reached adulthood in the Middle Ages, and there's a bunch of other stuff on there that's you know it's kind of interesting to read during the game, but it might distract you from the gameplay too. But hey, that's not a bad thing because there's not a lot about this game to like. Wrapping up for Clovis, <sighs> theme. Um, I think it's some sort of medieval board game uniting the. Tribes of the Franks. Huh? Yeah. I, I though know. really it's more uh, I throw down a two. Did you throw down a two or greater to match my card? If you didn't, you lose. If you did, you win. Uh, easy to play. It should be easy to play, but the rules being unclear and not all there make it less than easy to play. Fun to play? It's, mm. No, it's just your... Because gr- you have no real control. I can put down a three here... And, but I have my four cards and I have to defend. Even if nobody's attacking me, I have to throw a defend card down. Well, you can throw it on yourself or someone else. But. Yeah, but you're wasting cards when you only get so many and you don't get any more until you're out. You have four cards. If you use three, you've just got the one. Yeah. Well, why did I have to throw a defense card when I didn't have to defend? Especially if you got a lot of high numbers there. You don't want to waste them. No. I give Clovis a four. He's being a little generous by my book there, but not a lot. You know... It's a numbers game. Is you either got the cards or you don't have the cards. Well, if you know you got a good power, at least your uh, roll cards or whatever character cards are pretty handy. We use that. We got some use out of them. 
you know, swapping hands and stuff like that. Or, hey, I, I don't die this round no matter what you do to me. Yeah, there's some use in them. But the tribe cards, not once were we able to actually put them into effect. Hopefully in some later plays, you know, maybe. But <laughs> the way he's snickering here, we probably won't be playing it again. Oh, boy. Not much good to say about Clovis, I'm afraid. I'm going to give it a three. I did not enjoy it at all. Yeah, just for a number of reasons. Terrible rules. Rules not being included in the, uh, the actual packaging. Uh, poor, simple play. You know, it's a lot of luck in this. Don't Don't care for it. Yeah, there's zero to three. You play one to attack. You choose two to attack. If if you're not getting attacked, well, I guess I just throw a zero for def just chuck a low card for defense that turn. Yeah. You can also defend another player, but I mean this game is so random. It, it's just a social game, really, to me. Like if you're all drinking beer, a lot of beer, this might be fun. <laughs> a lot of beer. Um. The roll cards, they had a question. We have a question about whether you can have more than one at a time. It's a, it's a roll card, but it's a character. Or is it, which, character. Which one is it? It's a roll <laughs> or a character? Or it's both, I guess. But there's one card in here in particular that... Which one was it again? It says that everybody has to turn over their card. Nobody's allowed to use roll their cards. Ability, as well. Yeah. well what if I've got five roll cards? Am I only supposed to have one? That card seems to imply you should only have one. Yeah. But nowhere in the rules do you, does it say you, there's a limit on how many you can have. You get a new one every round. Does that mean you just get a new one if you don't have one? I don't know. The That's rules. the big problem with the rules right there. Well, yeah. hey, the rules can be downloaded, so maybe you can update them to make them better. Please. I can think that's one advantage of being able to download the rules is you can... Quick, change the file, and okay, there, the rules are better. Mm -hmm. You can maybe make the game a better game, but... I like the effort put into the different flavor text on... Like, all strength zero cards don't have the same flavor text. Some of them yeah. actually teach you the rules of the game where the, the rule book actually yeah, fails. Actually, yeah, what was the one where the three where it tells you the ugliest one? That's another problem with it. Goes first. Oh, yeah, Let, let's all get together with friends, and then, okay, we got to decide who the ugly one is. Yeah, the first player. So uh, it's got to be the ugliest one. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rude. I don't know if there was something lost in translation or not, because I don't think these are these people are from North America, but that doesn't, tra <laughs> if it's a mistake in translation, that's a terrible translation. And if it wasn't a mistake, well, shame on you. That's just poor taste. I don't appreciate that at all, you know, or at least whoever we declare the ugly one in the room, you know, certainly wouldn't appreciate that at all. It's not like it has anything to do with the game, not like there were hunchbacks or anything and there's a, the ugly one meant anything. It's just a way to put somebody down. Well, the I mean, unless there's I some loss in translation, it, I don't know, but yeah. it's it's supposed to be an it's an advantageous role, but if you call it the ugly one, then no one really wants to be it because well, I don't want to be known as the ugly one for the entire game but at the same time if you're the ugly one you get a lot of power in the sense like if there's ever the rule with the council yeah. you have the deciding vote if you you break ties um, after the very first round you get to choose who plays yeah. first but having the advantages in the game really isn't worth the put down I don't think no I give Clovis a three. So that's it for this episode of the Gamers Table Independent Edition. Tune in next week where we review another game. Because that's what we do. Gamers Table Independent Edition. It is Monday, Friday. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. <laughs>
Seek so soft hand, we bring you provisions. Yeah, soft hand's hurt. He's not hurt. He's dead. Shut up, Far. He's dying. I'm amazed he survived this long. We've been tricked. Someone has been ahead of us every step of the way. I name you Thief of the Scroll. They killed Will Strongarm! I saw them! Oh, I'm sure they'll try for me next! Trace? Blackwings? Oh, Simeon! Why did you have to take everyone from me? Ah!